What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. As you saw from the thumbnail, this will be a quick video. I'm just going to go through real quick and show you how to change the transmission fluid in your M8 bagger. Simple to do. It's one plug. Uh, you're going to want to do this with it up on a level surface. As you can see, I got the old trusty brick right there, holding it nice and level. Uh, when we check the fluid amounts, you're going to want to take it off of whatever lift you have it on, and you're going to want to check it on the jiffy stand, aka the kickstand. You're going to want to do this every 15,000, 20,000 miles. I'm just in the habit of doing all three fluids once a year, the beginning of the riding season because I usually put between 10 and 15,000 miles on my bikes every season. So instead of trying to do the guesswork, I just do all three at the same time. So I've already done the primary fluid um, and the engine oil. So I already did those two, I didn't film them, but this is strictly to show you how to do the transmission fluid in your Milwaukee a motorcycle. So let's get to it. Before we pull the plug from the bottom, we're going to take a 3 8 Allen head and crack this open. This is where you will fill up and check your transmission fluid. Loosen. Let it just kind of sit loosely like that to get the air. Allow that air in there to force all that fluid out. You're going to get down up under here and you're going to see two plugs. That plug right there, right? Man, I seriously need a lift. I can't do this like this forever on the ground. If you've never done this before, this is going to be your engine oil drain plug. And then if you go further back, you'll see this one sitting up and down. This is going to be your transmission fluid plug. And all these are going to be torqued between 14 and 21 foot pounds. So let's get to it. Let's get that uh, broken loose and we'll get that draining and then we'll go over to the other side. Let's get this uh, broken loose. Now all these bolts, your engine oil, your primary and your transmission drain plugs, they're all magnet tips and that way you can see if you have any metal shavings going through your system. So it's important to check those when you re get these out. quick with it so you don't make a huge mess once this pops loose like that. Only a few little drops, not too shabby. So as you can see, we got our bolt out. And if there's any uh, stuff on the threading, you can take a wire brush to it, get that cleared up, and change the O-ring on that guy. O-rings are cheap. Always change your O-rings, guys. They're super cheap. There's no reason not to. If you've already spent the $100 on all your oils, there's no reason to not to spend, you know, a few extra pennies to get a new uh, O-ring. Because, I mean, why not, right? All right, so as you can see, we will need to just take a wire brush and clean up those threads. But right now we're just kind of looking at any shavings, metal shavings on our magnet there. If I can get that in focus. And it's pretty minimal. That is very normal to have some shavings on there. Uh, no, your bike is not eating itself alive inside of the crankcase or the transmission or anything like that. It is completely normal to have some metal shavings. Now, if you add shavings, 
that were sticking this far up off of the, the magnet, then you would have a problem worth looking into. But this is completely normal. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a wire brush and clean that up, swap our O-ring, and we're going to put our plug back in once it's done draining. And we will go from there. Uh, once we get to that point, like I said, we're gonna take our trusty brick off to where it's sitting directly on the jiffy stand because we need to be able to check the fluids from it on the jiffy stand and not straight up and down like it is now. All right, so 14 to 21 inch pounds, it's not a lot. It's not a lot of uh, torque. So we got our everything drained. Just get this bolt tightened back up. All right. Everybody say hi to Malik. Good grief, bro. There's not enough room for you on me. What are you doing? All right, you gotta get off dad. You gotta get off, bro. Gotta get off me. So we got it back on the jiffy stand. We have removed our uh, four ounces of fluid. So like I said, it calls for uh, 28 ounces. You don't want to over fill this. Pour it slow. That way we don't have a mess of it coming out. So 28 ounces, and then we'll throw our dipstick back in there and check. I'll probably do about 25 ounces and then check it from there. All right, so this needs to go all the way in, all the way threaded down. check it again being careful not to cross thread so we'll thread that all the way down and then once it hits just back it back out we'll grab our rag again and we'll pull it out and as you can see still not registering on there so we'll be good to add the rest get our dip stick back in there As you can see, we're right on the center of the hourglass shape. I know it's kind of hard to for that to focus. There we go. As you can see, we're right on the center of the hourglass. So that's perfect. That's the perfect amount where we want it. And I'm OCD, and I'm going to check this again just to double, double, double check. Get that boy back in. And this time, I'm going to take my Allen head attachment and really thread it down. Okay, and then back it off. at the perfect amount where we want it all right guys so that is going to do it for the transmission fluid change we got our dipstick put back in 
Uh, tighten down, literally does not take a lot, just until it stops, and that is it. You don't want to crank it down, torque the hell out of it. Once it stops, it's in, it's good, it's not going anywhere. Now would also be a good time. I do this when I'm filling the fluids, uh, but just make sure you have no puddles of fluid down under your bike. If you do, that really sucks because that means you're gonna need to buy more uh, oil. It also means you did not put your plugs back in all the way or they were cross-threaded and that's equally terrible for you. So as you go, just kind of keep an eye on things. If you take your oil dipstick out, you will see that on it, it states, uh, check while hot or warm. Uh, and then there's two spaces. There's one while on jiffy stand and then another while upright. Primary fluid, there's a diagram. Uh, that shows in the service manual where the primary fluid needs to be. But this video was mainly focused around just doing the transmission fluid. But like I said, I change my motor oil every 5,000 miles. And then when I do the primary at 10,000 miles, I do the transmission fluid at the same time. Is that overkill? Possibly, but at least I know it's been done and it's easy for me to remember and all it's costing me is $12 for the fluid and then my time to do that one extra step. So in my mind and for my peace of mind, it's better to just do the primary fluid and the transmission fluid at the same time. So one uh, more thing before I go. When you start your bike, after you do your fluids change, just do a walk around like I just did and just check and make sure you're not leaking fluid from any three of those spots. The transmission plug, the engine oil plug, or the primary fluid area right behind the derby cover, or I should say right below the derby cover where that bolt is at. Just make sure nothing no fluids or anything are coming out if not you're solid and good to go all right guys so that's gonna do it for this video i appreciate you coming back yet again for another video hopefully this was of some help to you if you did find value in it please do me a favor hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button it goes a long way we truly do appreciate each and every one of you we're blessed to have such an amazing community here uh, on YouTube and all the other social media platforms that you guys um, follow us at and interact with me on. So I, I appreciate it and I value you as individuals. As always, much love from Utah. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Until the next time, we'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.